we come across mainly covalent bonds in organic compounds. So, we will discuss here the formation of covalent bonds. Covalent bond is formed by sharing of two electrons, one from each bonding atoms. If you take hydrogen molecule formation, hydrogen has one electron when this forms bond with another hydrogen atom. we get this hydrogen molecule. For simplicity, we write it as H H. So, this is a covalent bond. Hydrogen has one s orbital and one electron in it, another hydrogen atom which must have opposite spin to combine with this. These atomic orbitals now overlap each other to form the molecule. And the shape becomes of this type this has now two electrons revolving around the two nuclei. This is known as sigma molecular orbital or simply sigma bond. Energy of a molecular orbital is lower than the n sum of energy here. This is more stable than the hydrogen atoms. Hydrogen molecule is more stable than hydrogen atoms. This type of bonds are encountered in organic compounds. So, we will take carbon now and see how carbon atom forms bonds. you have seen in earlier lecture that carbon atom has configuration 1 s 2, 2 s 2, 2 p x 1, 2 p y 1, 2 p z 1, 2 p z 0, no electron in this. These two electrons do not take part in any bond formation because this is an inert gas configuration outermost shell of helium has filled and this will be a core one. These four electrons will take part in bond formation. Carbon in this state which is ground state does not form bonds. Whenever it has to form bond, this will require some energy and this is the same energy level. So, this has an option to occupy this vacant orbital and this occupies it. this is the excited state. The energy required here is compensated when this carbon atom will form bond later on and that becomes a stable molecule. 
in this state as soon as this state is reached carbon undergoes hybridization hybridization is a process in which the orbitals of same energy level undergo blending thereby forming the same number of new hybrid orbitals if all the four blend together they will form four new they will lose the identity s or p those four will have similar shape and similar energy hybridization that carbon rows is of three types sp3 sp2 and sp one you can write but sp1 is not written so first you have to see when it undergoes sp3 hybridization or sp2 or sp when carbon has to form bonds with only three atoms this is sp2 hybridization when decide to form bonds with four atoms sp3 and when only two atoms is sp such cases are methane tetrachloromethane etc ethylene or acetylene so we will first see now what is sp3 hybridization in sp3 all the four orbitals have blended and the shape of the orbitals is the hybrid orbitals these four orbitals are inclined to each other at an angle of 109 degree and 28 minutes somewhat lesser than half of a degree is 28 in other words it can be said that they are directed towards the vertices of a regular tetrahedron this is say a tetrahedron four faces 1 2 3 and 4 if we put carbon at the center of this tetrahedron you have and meet them meet this point with vertices you have four lines they are directed at an angle of 109 degree and 28 minutes so it will be somewhat like this and the one going back can be represented like this here this is going backwards each has one electron now and is ready for bond formation 